Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com, and we just left off five minutes ago. Or not even that, like <laughs> 20 seconds ago. So we're going to continue, though. This time we're going to work a bit more. We did quite a bit last time. But this time just going to be an extension of last time. So the plan is to wrap up the homepage and then work on the footer so we can move the crap on. Right? Because we're just kind of slowly walking along here, but we need to start running along. So what I want to do is, hmm, looking at this, I want to, hmm, I want to order these posts by the view count, which doesn't mean much yet because we don't have any views, but when we do, it'll make more sense. So how can we do that? Let's go to this one and add an order by, so say order by, We've already done this, so we know how to do this. We're going to order it by... I want to organize my arrays a bit differently real quick. I want to go... Knock these down like this. Because when we have a lot of these, a lot of these arrays, it starts to... Uh, it starts to get confusing when you have them all in a single line. So if we were to space them out a bit like this... Maybe we can uh, see a bit more and it won't hurt us too bad. Okay, so we're going to set order by to meta value. And now we get to set what that means right here. So meta value, meaning meta field that we're going to define. And you set that with a meta key, which we will set to the custom field that we just created, right? Which was... Where am I going here? In the functions page... We called it post views count. So let's copy that and paste that in the raise there. Okay, so now if we control S, come to the browser, refresh, you'll see nothing's changed, which is good. It means we didn't break anything, but if we were to add a view to one of these, then we'd be able to see that it should order by the amount of views. For now, I think we should go ahead and move down to the footer and get the footer out of the way. And if later on we want to go and add some more different some more different videos or not videos, games in through here, then we can do that. But that may be your call, maybe not be your call. But we need to move along because we're getting uh just it's just getting crazy, right? So let's start working on the footer. How do we do that though? In our index page on the bottom we have get footer and get sidebar. Well, our index page isn't using a sidebar. It's using just this right here. We could make that into a sidebar and just make it a specific sidebar for the home page. But, nah, we don't think we're going to do that. We'll just make a sidebar for the post pages and uh, worry about that. So we can knock that out. If you, you'll see that it's not uh, broken anything, which is good. But get footer. So let's work on the footer. Let's open up the footer.php. Right, here it is. Drag that into there. And we have some JavaScript in here, which we could put all this in the JavaScript file and bring that in just like that. But I don't think we'll do that because that's one more request that we don't need. So set up the footer. We're going to go say footer. That's the HTML5 tag and footer. And I'm going to give some content in there and give this, uh, well, does it need a class? It doesn't need a class. We have no need for uh, specific IDs on our footer because we only have one footer throughout the whole website. We'll give it a class of. Mm, or not, dude. I'm using Bootstrap on the website I'm working on right now. And on this, we're using Skeleton. So it's, uh, it's a bit different. So 12 columns. And this will be a row. Control S, refresh. There it is. That's good. Now inside of this footer, we're, we're going to have uh, what's called, I think, <laughs> might be a term that I use, I don't know, a fat footer? Is that is that a thing? Sure it is. It's, it's a footer. It's big. It has more than just your copyright information and your contact information. It has like navigational links. It can have an ad. It can have a search form. It can have anything. It's going to be a big old footer free to put all kinds of stuff in or whatever we're just gonna have like three columns of stuff for now don't really know I'll give it a div for the class uh, 
I'll use that div. Inside this div, I'm gonna give it a, hmm, it's gonna be a four columns. And I'm gonna say left, copy that, paste, paste, middle, right. See if that works out like that. Wait, is this a 16 column grid? <laughs> okay, so I just remember this is a 16 column grid and uh, I forgot because I was using, I'm using another framework for the website I'm working on over alphamedia.com. And so to do the thirds, we'll have to set up a fraction. Or not really set up a fraction, just give it a fraction. So we'll say one third columns. So one third and one third. So three one thirds should be the full thing. And it's not. Is that, would it be column? I know it's kind of picky about the plurals, which kind of upsets me. There we go. Then we got that. That was my bad. Didn't know what tool I was using, apparently. Okay, and now what we can do is bring in some data into these, right? But what I think we should actually do is widgetize the footer, and then we can use uh, widgets from within the WordPress administrative panel and just drag them and drop them in there. And that's kind of a good idea, I think. Uh, but for now, that was part 20, 21, I don't remember. Thank you for watching. I'm going to continue today. I'm just, I might get like three or four videos up. I don't really know. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Check out the website. Subscribe. Uh, see you next time in a couple of minutes.